Well, hello again, everyone. Uh, for those of you who don't know me, I'm Lincoln Forlong from Focus Bible Church. Uh, this afternoon, I just want to spend a few brief minutes uh, explaining to you why in Focus Bible Church, when you visit our website, you'll notice at focusbiblechurch.com that we have two statements of faith. There's the brief statements of statement of faith, which is just a, a, a couple of pages of summary of what we will teach you. And then we have the expanded version, and it's, it's a fairly definitive document. It's a definitive, prolonged statement of what we would teach you when you attend Focus Bible Church. We live in really interesting times, don't we? Where toleration of everything is demanded, uh, but toleration of the truth of God is not actually tolerated. Fascinating phenomena, that. We live in an age where education has a high priority in people's lives, and, and that's good, obviously. However, when it comes to biblical truth, people often have a very couldn't-care-less attitude where they're happy just pursuing truth but not really coming to anything conclusive or definitive. And the Apostle Paul wrote to Timothy about this in 2 Timothy 3, 7, where he says, These sort of people are always learning Timothy and never able to arrive at a knowledge of the truth. And Paul says, Timothy, you've got to watch out for people that are happy not to know God's truth. And so in the body of Christ, in the church of Jesus Christ, and for me that means in Focus Bible Church, we have a responsibility to God and we have a responsibility to you, to the person who watches our videos, listens to our audios, and to those who are members of Focus Bible Church in particular. Or if you visit Focus Bible Church, we and I as pastor have a responsibility to ensure that we are presenting you with Truth, those things which God says are absolute, are definitive, and what's more, are knowable and can be grabbed on by faith, believed in, trusted in, and actioned in your mind, in your speech, and in your behavior. When Paul was writing again to Timothy in his first letter to Timothy in chapter 3, verse 5, uh, Paul said to Timothy, Now, I want you to know how people ought to conduct themselves in the household of God. Now, that's a great question. As, as we, in the year 2021, we are confronted with the reality that when you look at religion, when you look at even the church, the Christian church, you see just an enormous diversity of behaviour. Behaviour that ranges from ultra-conservative and uh, orthodox, if you want to use that word, to ultra-liberal, where there are no boundaries, no restrictions, no guidelines, anything goes. And in our society, we see everything, every ebb and flow between those two extremes. However, Paul wrote to Timothy and said, now Timothy, listen up. Christians need to know how to behave. They need to know how to conduct themselves in the body of Christ, in the household of God. And here it is. And he says in verse 15, which is the church of the living God. The pillar, the church, is the pillar and foundation of the truth. It's a fantastic thing for Christians to know that they can come to the body of Christ, to church, trusting that there are leaders in the church, there are gifted men who are going to stand in the pulpit and who are going to open God's word and uplift from the pages in the words used in scripture, the truths of God which form our foundation of faith, which form the pillars that we hang on to in our daily experiences. The church is that place of representation of the absolute certain truth of God. Here's a fact. We worship a God who has proclaimed that he is the God of truth. Isaiah 65, 16. We worship a Lord and Saviour, the Lord Jesus Christ, who announced himself to be the way, the truth, 
and the life, John 14 verse 6. And we surrender to the filling and the leading and the uh, controlling and the guiding of the Holy Spirit of truth. And Jesus announced him as being the Spirit of truth in John 15 verse 26. And we as Christians who follow this God of truth, who have surrendered our lives to this God of truth, who live in awe and wonder and just adoration of the spectacular nature and mercy of this God of truth, we find all of his representation fairly and squarely and plainly and clearly shown and expressed to us in the Bible, which is the word of God. And so Jesus in John 17, 17 declared that the scriptures are the word of truth. And so God is about truth. It's a bit of a no-brainer then that his people should be about truth. And if his people are about truth and his people are submersing their lives in the truth of God's word under the influence and controlling power of the Holy Spirit who indwells, then we celebrate truth. We celebrate the certainty of truth. We celebrate the absoluteness of truth, the definitive nature of truth. Because there in truth, we find answers to questions. We find an absolute revelation of a holy God, a creator God, who is also our saviour God. It is this God of truth that we present to you in Focus Bible Church. And we give a great deal of attention. We commit a lot of our resources to presenting and teaching and explaining the God of truth from the Word of God. And so I would encourage you to go to our website, look under the menu of resources and find our expanded statement of faith and you can look at it in PDF, you can download it in PDF, you can even print it off and enjoy the pleasure of seeing just how definitive God lays out in his word the rich and the vast foundations of the Christian faith. And it is those very foundational truths that we commit to teach you as you uh, walk with us in Focus Bible Church. We'd love to see you if you want to visit us. We'd love to uh, see you using our resources on focusbiblechurch.com. If there's any way we can assist, if there's any uh, questions you would like answered or things that you have been thinking about that you would like assistance with or just to bounce some ideas off, feel free to use our contact form on our website to contact me and to uh, enter into dialogue. It would be great to see you sometime or to hear from you. We wish the Lord's richest blessing on you as we together pursue our Lord and Saviour Jesus Christ through his written word, the word of truth. Thank you.